the, uh, the Greenpeace has issued a, uh, a report about the Hurricane, the Hurricane Matthew response and Governor Rick Scott. And I find this fascinating. This is uh, John Hosevar, who is the senior campaigner at Greenpeace. And they just issued this press release, actually, that I'm reading to you. For a long time, the science has been clear that our reliance on coal, natural gas, and oil has not only been heating our planet, but also fueling bigger and more devastating storms. Hurricanes Katrina and Sandy helped make this real for millions of people, especially those who lost homes or loved ones in New York, New Jersey, Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, and beyond. It has also been clear for a long time that Florida, with its expansive coastline, covered with high-rise hotels and condominiums only just a few feet above sea level, is among one of the most vulnerable places in the world. Florida Governor Rick Scott has utterly failed the people of his state. Instead of working to reduce carbon emissions, help homeowners and municipalities develop strategies to cope with climate impacts like sea level rise, erosion, flooding, saltwater intrusion, insect-borne disease outbreaks, and extreme heat, he has instead stuck his head in Florida's sand. Famously, Scott even banned state employees from using the phrase climate change. This would be irresponsible anywhere, but in a state like Florida, with so many people living by the coast, it borders on criminal negligence. Today, Governor Scott is busy dealing with the impacts of Hurricane Matthew on Florida's people, environment, and business, as he should. The focus now needs to be on providing access to food and shelter to the many people affected by the storm. Once the waters recede and the power comes back on, though, all of us need to think carefully about whether climate deniers like Rick Scott and Donald Trump and Mike Pence, I added that, are really suitable candidates to take responsibility for our future, for a growing number of people who have experienced the impact of the politics of denial firsthand. The answer is clear. Well said. Very well said. 